the Jezebel spirits, they've been sending them out into different locations to trick the men of God out of their position in the name of Jesus. And it's Satan is real. And these corrupt religious leaders have been using the word of God orchestrate that evil to overthrow the land for high position and power. And I heard in my spirit because there's been a stirring up within heaven and in hell. And I hear in my spirit these demons say, I'm going to get me a job. In the name of Jesus. An angelic warrior saying, and see, whenever one come forth from hell, they're coming from, from heaven to war and fight. It's a stillness right now in the name of Jesus. It says, Belial works with the spirit of Jezebel to seduce the service of the Lord into fornication, idolatry, Jezebel can manifest through false teaching and is a seducing spirit. Jezebel does not work alone. Belial works with Jezebel. <clears throat> My throat. <clears throat> I glorify God today. I walk in the Holy Ghost boldness of my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I won't sell my soul for materialistic things of this world. Because I know my Lord and Savior has said there's treasure stored up in heaven. That I'll pour out a blessing upon your life that you will not have room enough to receive. And the enemy is mad and been at war with the people since God came down and stooped and blew breath, made you, summoned you out of dirt and blew breath into your body. Satan has been at war because he knows that he cannot have access to the throne. 
strong. And I'm going to see you. So he's for centuries and years been tricking and stealing and robbing and killing the true apostles and prophets of God. And raising up Honda Bashia. He all. I can't say that in the name of Jesus. That's a lie. I send that back to the pits of hell from which it come from. Mm. That's a lie in the name of Jesus. He blindsided the people. Mm. And it says, because I'm going a, I'm to a clarify that, because the enemy almost, uh, mm -mm. he ain't almost won nothing because it's already been won in him. The greatest. It's a false familiar spirit in this, within the spirit right now in the name of Jesus. So, that's why I, I stumbled because my, I submitted my spirit into, the, into God's hand. And it's a teaching. Allowing me to, teaching me discernment. And how and know when and when not to speak in the name of Jesus, I glorify you today, Jesus. It says the greatest threat of Jezebel influence has always been true service of God. The true service is a threat to manipulation, Jezebel. Those who preach the truth and maintain a standard of holiness are obstacles to the work of Jezebel. The Spirit therefore attacks these men and women of God in order to move them out of the way. The devil is alive. I stand for my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. For my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He's been that good to me. If it had not been for the Lord on my side, I'd be dead sleeping in my grave. But, uh, so, I continue on. And, oh, God. In the name of Jesus. Mm. I glorify God today. <coughs> For 
of trying and testing of the faith in the hearts of men. Judgment right now in the name of Jesus is upon the people. A marking of the beast in the name of Jesus. Because you have a slew that is trying and that wanted to flock into the house of God in the name of Jesus. And he said, before they go or before you come, you people, the true, the true people in the spirit of God will know who they are. Because you got some that's been sitting up in, in the house of God and this is what they've been doing. False doctrine, false teaching, and false prophecy to be raising up for a higher position of leadership, robbing the land. In the name of Jesus. And then it says, chapter 1, one, the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show his servant things that must shortly take place. revealed to me while I'm sitting there, he said, I put the beginning at the end of the book, and the book, end, the beginning at the end, because this world is a reverse generation, in the name of Jesus, a foul spirit in here. False tongues, in the name of Jesus. That is, they have looked out over the land and they see the anointing. I praise God that my lighthouse is shining. They see the glory. You're not stealing from hiding in the name of Jesus. And in due season, because we're walking through a separating the wheat from the chaff and judgment. God said, I allowed it. Satan, corrupt religious leaders, y'all have lost the battle in the name of Jesus. I don't care what it looked like in the name of Jesus. Because he said he took, and one thing that really stood out of me, because everything else was kind of vague as I was reading. I, I, go back over because it, it's a familiar scripture because I've, I've been there but God is taking me somewhere else he's giving me a newness of light and a new revelation in the name of Jesus because I hear right now say because the mystery of kingdom has been given unto you he, he took us in his revelations one 18 he said that they lost the Bible. They never won. They never had it. He said, I am he who lives and was dead in the name of Jesus. And behold, I am alive and forevermore in the name of Jesus. And I have the keys of Hades of death in the name of Jesus. I don't know what you're messing with. You don't know who you're messing with in the name of Jesus. Because you have scriptural knowledge and you've learned to manipulate and to curse and not bless in the name of Jesus. The pits of hell shall be your home. I glorify God in this place today. He says, 
because you're walking in your end time. I have greatness for my people in the name of Jesus. Who are you to summons the end? You have not created no heaven nor hell. Who are you to think that you could sit on the throne? Clean it up. I'm giving you one more day to get it right. In the name of Jesus. Mm. I glorify God. There's some people that's sitting in position over the nation. Who have a desire to get it right. No, everything is not going to always be perfect. And it's some who, and that's what um, God, uh, when I was in criminal justice, that's what they taught. He said, uh, you got some that will go into the justice system with um, the desire to change things and they be converted they become corrupt and that's what and that's what happened and they got so complacent and so used to it and and think that that's just the ways of life that they stayed there and, and that's i hear god say and it's the ones that they desire he said they turned back because they thought that they could make things good but once satan without you putting god first and once you go into that entanglement and covenant with satan it's during the, it's it's almost a death walk coming out. Unless you got a spirit of truth that's standing right there on the gap. Because see, God knows the heart. He knows the heart. And that's what's speaking out. That's what is crying out right now. Y'all uh, so called uh praying in the spirit, false doctrine, idolatry leaders, they've been lying. It's a trying and the testing of the heart right now. And he said they all have turned. I ain't perfect over here either. But I desire my God, my Lord and Savior. And I get I get mad, but I know there's just a um something that he's showing me highly is whenever I go in his word, because I say, use me, God. I want I want I want Jesus. I want God, not for, I just want to know my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to do his work. Because he's been that good to me. I, I despise saying I, because I don't want to exalt myself above my Lord and Savior. I'm in, I'm released. This is my they don't want me to talk. They don't tell me to shut up. They've been telling me shut up all week long. Ever since God gave me the assignment to expose spiritual corruption, the enemy has been telling me to shut up. He don't send me several death threats, but in the name of Jesus. El Shaddai got the keys to Hades and death, and he says, the works highly, the works that I do, you should do even greater works in my son's name they must flee it's nothing but a valley of shadow of death Whew, I feel dizzy it's a fire spirit for me spirit is in this place let's drop down to the knees in the name of Jesus it's not highly that you worship I send that back to the physical
it's the people that's been trying to commune with the other side. They know that there's an, there's an anointing for my best. And it's a young lady. Her her father passed from esophageal cancer. And you've been trying to talk to him. He said he loved you. I don't do that. I just call on the Spirit of the Lord and allow the Spirit of the Lord to come through. But I can, uh, um, God allowed me to realize that whenever somebody's doing it, because a, a lot of a high, I have a high a volume of spiritual warfare. I go through a lot of warfare, and I guess yeah, I have been. I guess I've been running from that assignment because I know highly. I can't do nothing without God. Everything that God gives me is revelation. There's nothing that I've gotten out of the book besides His Holy Word. Uh, the assignment upon my life is a heavy mountain. And I tell them sometimes, I just like, no, I don't want to. And fear does not have a place here. I don't want to disappoint my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And yes, I have said I don't want, I don't want their responsibility. I'm not going to lie. I can't, I can't lie. I, I've said I just, I was like, Lord, I just want to love life. Uh, just go out and into the world and enjoy nature and just visit different places and, and embrace your beauty of this world. But I have learned that I've, I've been happy to begin to speak what thus says the Lord. Because when you empty out, He'll pour some, He'll pour back into you. And uh, I had dropped off on. Wow, I had became so fat. I had actually gained weight because I was. God just revealed that to me. I'm full. I'm so full that I began to gain weight because I wasn't saying what thus says the Lord. And they, and you know, it's some, some, I have some envy and jealousy that they have been praying that I gain weight. But no, God said they meant it for evil, but I meant it for my good, for your good. And Oh, in the name of Jesus, I just, I'm, I was fat off the word. <laughs> and, uh, oh, God, in the name of Jesus. You got some people that walk around here just, just as big as a house. From not opening their mouths and proclaiming and professing. You don't have to be holy and quote scripture from scripture. He said, just be my mouthpiece. If I just tell you, just just say, tell somebody one day, just, hey, how you doing? Or just be an encouragement to somebody. Uplift somebody. I can be mean sometimes, but God is, what God told me, what God showed me about that, he says, I'm showing you this is what they're doing. This is what the ones whom you flock into this house they hide behind my word. They hide behind the clergy clause. That's what they're doing. You got some that's out. The spirit. They are partying. They are killing and they are stealing and this is what's been birthed into the natural. He said that's what they're doing. Just got the just got the most ugly spirit. And I've, I've told some people. I've, I've um always have been a very joyous person, love life, love people, and always have been welcome to where whenever I came I was always welcome. And when I began to uh, be spiritually awakening, I was walking in my uh, calling um, as a minister and training, things began to change and stuff became, began to be very aggressive towards me. But I, I realized that I was picking up their spiritual warfare, my own spiritual warfare, being trained um, to be raised. God. And um, mm. Mm. it was something, but it left me in the name of Jesus, a vile spirit. Oh, we just.
just walk by honey mm, mm, mm. my mama that spirit is heavy on you in the name of Jesus he's coming in the flesh in the name of Jesus my Lord and Savior is coming he's here Um, 
hear them. Not God say it, but I hear them. Because this is what they're doing inside the church. You got some that's sitting inside the church trying to use spiritual manipulation as uh, to make you talk and say what, uh, say what they want you to say instead of what God. That's why they say that they got you got the people's prophets here on the land. You got the people's apostles here on the land. The devil is a lie. Because you won't tell me to say no scripture. I'm not even going to repeat the scripture. But it is in Matthew. And I hear you in the name of Jesus. And God is just, at this time right now, he's, he's teaching me how to discern. On how to hear the spirit of the Lord. And to hear the enemy.